Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for those who have been following our channel, you probably have also seen that we actually have a smaller bioflock set up just beside our crab farm. And this is a snapshot of the how the shrimp was growing back then. So in this video, we'll be showing you a newer bioflock system that we have actually modified and based a new process on and we'll be showing that in this video. So this is actually how our newer system looks like. We have actually retrofitted some of it with uh, some of the older equipments that we have lying on our farm. But the basics remains the same. So my colleague here is actually connecting the pump into the settling tank. right? And we are using actually a very small pump to run these small systems. And what we have over here is instead of a protein schema, we have actually replaced it with a tray here to collect some of the water that is flowing up from the sediment tank. We have yet to decide what, what, what sort of filtration we would like to put on the top. And what we have over here beneath the tank is actually a biofilter tank, which is to help to stabilize some of the biofiltration process in the biofilt process. So my colleague here is just about to put in some of the aeration systems that were basically clean and removed from the previous process. And uh, we have actually added some weights onto the aeration frame so that it helps to sink down to the bottom, especially when you're running your aeration. So these are the pump that we are actually using for our system. It's actually quite a small pump, it's only about half a horsepower to power our biofloc system, which is only about 3 to 3.5 cubic meters. And this is what happens if we turn on the aeration and you can see how the air bubbles is actually coming up from the aeration frame that were previously put in. So we felt that the need to put this into to show people how does the biofloc system, how does the aeration system work specifically in a diffuse air bubble case. So as you can see here, you know, just by aeration of fresh water, you can see the bubbles are quite large. Uh, this is very typical, especially in a freshwater environment. So what do you see here is uh, my colleague actually adding in some salt to raise up the salinity for the system. So we're actually raising our salinity to about 15 ppt. Uh, but take note that we do not have added uh, the water up the way to the top. This is to make sure that you know, subsequently during the process, if we add in more fresh water, it will bring up the water level, but dilute down the salinity. So what we're trying to do with this batch is to reduce down the salinity and to find out what's the limit that we can reduce the salt consumption. So as you can see, after adding addition of salt, the air bubble will tend to change. Uh, it becomes slightly a bit more smaller in nature due to the surface tension in salt water. So after aerating for one or two days, the next step for us was to add in the the requirements needed to make the biofloc. So we have here the probiotics uh, and we also have here the feed that's required to raise the ammonia artificially and also some molasses to bring up the CN ratio. So my colleague here is just adding in some of the materials needed to build the flock by adding the feed first followed by the molasses. As you can see that the water starts to turn brownish in color due to the molasses uh, nature. And we're just uh, diluting down with a bit more water to make sure we don't waste any more molasses. And lastly, we'll be adding in the probiotics, uh, which is not a lot. Uh, this is to seed the bioflock to help ensure that we have a stable bioflock that will be forming in one or two days' time. So as you can see, after addition of this item, the aeration foam tend to disappear. And this is due to the surface tension changes of the feet as the feed tends to contain a bit of oil, you can see that how does the aeration behavior changes by the disappearing foam on the surface of the water level. So that's all for now. Do like and subscribe if you like our content and do check back on next week's video to check on our progress on the bioflock system.